At the end of World War II, a new kind of war began. The Soviets, without firing a shot, have taken over half the world. They'll be in our backyard before you know it. The secretive, paranoid years of the Cold War saw the creation of what was then and remains today the most powerful covert agency in the world. Gentlemen, the CIA. And the nasty little secrets. Now, from director Robert De Niro. My orders came through. I'll be going overseas. What are you going to do, Edward? Save the world? I'll do what I can. Comes the untold story of the birth of the CIA. The CIA was just manned entirely by a certain class of people. Waspy, wealthy, brightest of the brightest. Welcome to our little club. House. Operatives were recruited from America's most privileged families. They had more of an investment in their heritage and history, and they had more to lose if they didn't win. And from Skull and Bones, a secret society at Yale. Congratulations, Mr. Wilson. I'm Richard Hayes, Master of Secrets and Orders. And the Skull and Bones Society had all the opportunities. Bonesmen! And therefore had all the power. You're the guys that scare me. You're the people that make big wars. And you know, we made sure the wars were small ones. He explores the gray area of espionage and how a lot of people become victims of it. Margaret tells us that you work with the CIA. My wife has a vivid imagination. I mean, you can't really talk about your work with your family or your children. You are never to tell anyone what it is that I do. What you do? I don't know what you do. You leave at five, you're home at ten, seven days a week. I live with a ghost. I don't know what you do. There's also a lot of danger and a lot of discomfort in what it is that she doesn't know. And it's not just that her husband had a phone call and she doesn't know what the phone call was. It's that the phone call could be somebody being killed or being ordered to be killed. It's an ugly secret. The stakes are extremely high. It is in many ways a family drama. We don't have to be like this, you and I. We don't have to be strangers. You can't know who to trust. Remember what I said to you about friends? Get out while you still can, Edward. While you still have a soul. The Good Shepherd.